Okay, people. Pay attention. That's a lionfish. That's a sea anemone. Clownfish is behind. Relative in Nemo from the movie. But it's not a cartoon. We're going to feed him first, because if he stings me, I'll die of a heart attack. So I want him to have a full belly before I feed the anemone. That's a lobster and a coral shrimp fighting. So I'll have to figure it out. So, first, we're going to feed this fella. He knows I'm going to feed him. Don't blink. That happened pretty quick. The clownfish is eating one. He's swallowing one. Oh, the anemone's got it in his tentacles. The anemone is eating. That, that simplifies things for me. Excellent. We'll feed him again. He's chewing. All of his fins hide hypodermic needles in the form of spines that support the fin and also deliver a deadly toxin which can kill you. Mostly me because I'm the one who puts my hand in the tank. Behind him you can see the sea anemone. Below the sea anemone there's a yellowtail blue devil which is a damselfish. Over here. Up oh, there's another damsel. Black and white stripe. There's the relative of Nemo. Not quite the one from the movie, but same family. And there's a blue velvet right there. He's the largest fish in the tank. And we're going to feed the lionfish again because he's a pig. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. That happens pretty quick. Look at the, the clownfish. The clownfish. Whoa! Now I don't know if you guys noticed that, but the clownfish took the the clownfish took the food right to the anemone and it fed it. That's pretty cool. And he is stinging those fish, and the stings from the nematocysts are digesting the food. He will put it in his mouth and digest it in his gastrovascular cavity, as I told you, and spit it back out of his mouth because he does not have an anus because I told you so. That's the lionfish. He's begging for attention. He wants more food. I don't know if I'm going to feed him again. One, th one thing we frown upon here is purging. There's the lobster. Did you see the lobster pick anything up on? No, the blue devil is attacking everybody, so see them. There's a fish they put right over there, and they say green rays in it. You want to sprinkle, sprinkle some of the flakes in for the other guys? Okay. Not bad. Which one, blue or green? Yeah, put in both. The green is vegetable and the other is protein. The anemone almost has all the fish in there. That's fine. And a little bit less of the greenery. What's the red one? So I like it in there. That's the one Larry bought me when we were on vacation. That's not good for his salt water. Oh. Now the clownfish probably gets to eat. That's good stuff. Yeah, they'll eat it. Good. That lobster's gonna eat everybody. Look at that lobster. 
Oh, he's hungry. He eats that stuff. Oh, yeah, he's a scavenger. So anything they don't eat, I'll pick up with the net. But I just want the kids to see them going off, eating well. Obviously, the tank is overfed. This lionfish is thinking about eating that big fish right there. I think he's going to. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Bam! Goodbye. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the same as me and you eating a turkey about 20 pounds in a gulp. He can do that. So, there you have it. Get away from there, try. There you have it. There's a dumb cat. He is not. Eating the fish juice. It's okay. And we're going to sign off, people. I hope this was educational. Oh, that's great. You can see the fish going right in the mouth of the anemone. You see them? Mm hmm. See them? Uh -huh. Right there. Will he pick up one of the fish from the bottom and bring it up to him? Not anymore. He's, there's flakes in the tank. He's going to eat on his own now. This guy's stuffed. Everybody's happy. And we'll clean it up. Yeah, you don't have that. So there you have it, people. Mr. Covert's Marine Sanctuary. We're out. <laughs>